Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we will work on the order detail fragment and we will finish this completely. So as usual, you will find the XML layout file of this fragment in the description. Download that, then paste it inside the layout file and select layout, click on here, okay. And as you can see here, we don't need any icons. They are already there. And here is a fragment for this soccer review, we'll be using the billing uh, adapter. And now let's go ahead and create a class for this one. Inside the settings in the fragments package in here, let's create order detail fragment. Let's set up this fragment. For this fragment, we don't need a view model actually because we will get the product or we'll get the order, sorry, from the old orders fragment. So now let's go inside the nav graph, the shopping nav graph, and here we want to add the order detail fragment. Add that in here. Then we want to have a link between the orders fragment and order detail fragment. So let's make a link here. And for this link, we want to pass an argument and that argument and that argument is an order. And for that, we need to make the order class parsable. So let's go here. Let's annotate this with the personalize. And let's just implement a uh, parsable, this one. And now we can add an argument here and make it parsable here then select the order data class click on ok we can give this name of order then click on add now let's go to the all orders fragment here and we want to just override the only click inside the adapter so you can say adapter which is the orders adapter dot only click in here we want to navigate to the order detail fragment so let's give the action we can save all orders fragment directions then we have this functions or this function and here we need to send the order which is it after that we can navigate to the order detail fragment and using this action now we can finally work on the order detail fragment and set up everything in here now inside the on view created inside here let's first set up the recycle view that we have or we also actually need an instance from the billing adapter so let's get that private val billing adapter by lazy and this is a billing adapter our billing products adapter so let me just edit the name here and let's create a function to set up the recycle view in here we can say binding dot rv products dot apply we need to add the adapter which is the billing products adapter, then the layout manager. This is a linear layout manager. Plus the context, we pass the orientation, vertical, and we pass false. Then we can say add item decoration and we add vertical decoration. And we keep the default amount here, which is 30. Okay, inside here we can just say binding.apply. And now we want the order. We can get it by the nav args. So we need the nav args first. We can say private val args by nav args. And we want the order detail nav args. And inside here we can just get the order saying val order args dot order. We already have that. Now inside here we want to change the toolbar text. So we can say tv order id dot text. And we can just say hash order or order hash. Then we pass the order number order dot order ID. We can make space here. Now here we want to set up this tip view that we have. Let me show you that. So inside here we have this tip view as you can see, which is just a library that I found on GitHub. So I'm just going to follow the documentation here. So to set up this, we first need to add the steps. So we can say step view, which is the ID of that step view. We can say set steps. And here this receives a list, list of strings actually. 
And here we need to pass the steps that the order can go through or the status of the order. We can actually get that from the order status. But here, if you have, if you like implementing the app in another language, you would just get that from the resources strings. But for me, I'll just get it from the order status. So you can say order dot status. This is the first uh, state of the order. Then we have confirmed. We have shipped. And uh, delivered. Of course, there are other states of the order, but uh, I will just include these inside this step view. Okay, now let's actually move to this next thing of setting up this step view, which is the current state of the order. So let's actually do that. First, we want to identify the order state, the index of that. So which index is it 0, 1, or 2, or 3? And to do that, we actually want to use when block. So let's do that. Current order state. When get order status, which is the function which is the function that we, I think, I think we implemented that a couple of days ago. I don't remember. Anyways, in your pass order dot order status. So when the order status is order status ordered, we pass zero, which is this one. So this one is at index zero of our list. That's what we're doing basically. If it's confirmed, we pass two or we pass one. If it's uh, shipped, we pass two, and if it's delivered, we pass three, and after that, the else block in here, we just pass, let's say, zero. And now we want to tell the step view where are we at, what is the current state of the order, so we can do that by step view dot go, and here we need to pass the index, which is the current state, the current order state. And we pass the animation if you want to animate that. So I'll pass false in here. As the documentation of this step view says, if you are at the last step, you need to do this. So check if the current order state equals to 3. Then we can say step view dot go or done. And we can say true. And that's it for the step view. Now let's actually show the user information like the address and the name. So you can say tv full name, text, you can get that from the order, address dot full name. We need the address. In here, I will actually show many things. So first, the street. Then uh, in here, I will also show the city. And there is also a text view for the phone number. We have all of this information in the order object and here we can say address dot phone uh there's also the price so tv total price dot text also we have that in the order class then we make this a string finally we want to update the product in our list using the different inside the adapter so we can say adapter dot differ dot submit list and we can get the list of products for that specific order from order.products and that's it so let's launch the app now to test everything um before we launch the app uh so i forgot to do something actually inside um the all orders adapter yup we don't have a click listener on the item view so let's do that let's say holder dot item view that set on a click listener and we want to invoke this lambda call so we can say on a click on equal oops on a click and we invoke, invoke that and send the order okay now i'll launch the app again okay so here's the app launched now let's click on any order we have in here and yeah as you can see we display the order detail successfully we have the order id shown at the top of the toolbar we have the order status here the order now is ordered and we have the address we have the products for that specific order we have the total price seems like we forgot to add the dollar sign in here so i'm going to fix that real quick inside the other detail fragment let's add um in the price here so i'm going to change this okay let me just take this off 
add the string annotations and we can add this I'm being very slow now and we just need to add the dollar sign we used to add it at the beginning and let's actually go to another order so this one for example um, let me see okay this one as you can see this one is delivered so the status is ordered confirmed shipped delivered and you can play around with this if you want to test them you can just change the other status from the Firebase console and just check what happens to this tab view it will actually react to that so that's it actually for this video if you like this one don't forget to like subscribe to my channel we almost done with this playlist so if you are following up until now you're a special member in my channel and thank you so much and i uh, hope you have a great day catch you in the next video